Heathcliff, you've taken over as far as you're gonna take over. And you're not taking over my chair. Off! Allow me. Unclaw that cushion, you overspoiled feline. You snitched my bacon at breakfast. I had to watch your cartoons instead of my sports program. But you're not taking over my chair. It's all I have left. This isn't what I meant. Now you're gonna get it, you freeloading flea bag. Meow. Meow. Heathcliff, what's wrong? Stop that, you big brute. There, there. You're safe now, babykins. Dad gum, it's always the same. I get the blame and babykins gets the cuddle waddles. Poor babykins. Some cuddle waddling and a dish of nice warm milk will make you feel better. Hey, everybody! I'm home from school! Jeez! Who made the mess? Never mind, Iggy. Grandpa will clean up his... Uh, the mess while we go shopping. <laughs> oh, hey! I gotta tell you about Newton. He's an experimental mouse visiting our biology class. And he's world famous, too. Newton's the first mouse on the moon. A sort of mouse-tronaut. <laughs> That's nice, Iggy. Now we have to go. And, dear, just remember, I want the house spick and span when we return. Yes, dear. Hmm. Either I sniffed an invisible mouse or my imagination sure pecks a wallop. Remember our truce, Heathcliff. You stay on your side of the line, no matter what. Ah, now to relax in my chair, watch my show and enjoy my cheese sandwich. Ah, truly a gastronomical delight. That must be Newton, the super mouse. <laughs> Yo, my false teeth! The TV's on the blink. What in tarnation's going on? All righty, who's the wise guy culprit? Heathcliff? Meow. A rodent. A cheese-snitching Weisenheimer rodent. Mouse heaven, here you come. <laughs> You're the cat of the house, Heathcliff. Get rid of that mouse. Yeah. Oh, I see. Since the mouse is on my side, he's my problem. Don't expect me to beg. Us nutmegs can stand on our own two feet. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Heathcliff, dear friend, I apologize for my um, uh, disrespect to you. And here's a full can of tuna as a token of my esteem for you. Now, please get rid of that mouse. Psst, Newton, this is it. See? I'm standing on the neutral line. Oh, yeah? Now you're not. But that's your problem. <laughs> And this is your problem. <laughs> oh. Heathcliff, since I'm superfied in every way, it's physically impossible to remove me. So relax. I'm taking over. Don't count on it, rodent. <laughs> okay. Have it your way. Hmm. Heathcliff's met his match, and he's also tearing up the house. Better get help fast. Aha! Uh -huh. Just what I need. A robot rodent remover. 
Results guaranteed. Hello? This is a nutmeg residence. I got an emergency. Send over a robot rodent remover at once. There you go, Pops. The super robot rodent remover is ready for action. Uh, I suggest you take a walk. What the robot does to a rodent isn't pretty to watch. Huh? Prepare to be removed, rodent. Right on, robot. Go for it. Hey, you're all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished, rodent removed. <laughs> Some big deal, robot remover. He got away. Negative. Hmm. Grandma ain't gonna appreciate Grandpa's redecoration. Nice move, Roby. You are defeated, Rodan. Sorry, pal, but you've got your antenna crossed. Oh, this thing's wearing me out. I need a breather. Better hide, Newton. Here he comes again. If you're looking for the rodent, he went that away. <laughs> hey, I'm not the rodent. Use your senses, fella. Do you detect me as a rodent? Affirmative. Hello. Goodbye. Guess this is it. And I ain't even a rodent. Sorry, Heathcliff. It's all my fault. I was hiding in your first so he wouldn't find me. You're making a mistake, pal. You sure are, you walking junkyard. A clever trick, rodent. But you're alas. Now I will vacuum you up into my auto shredder. Super bubble bed. Yeah! This might do the trick. Water bubbles. They are shorting out my diode. My microcomputer's being discombobulated. My probability factor indicates what they... I am going bonkers. <laughs> You know it, Newton, which just proves us animals have it all over machines. <laughs> yes, indeed, my friend. And we had a fun time proving it. <laughs> time? Oh, no, it's time the folks got home. This place is a mess. Relax, Heathcliff. I just got a super idea. So, what's your super idea, Newton? Super and simple, Heathcliff. A simple repair and reprogramming job, and presto, a new robot. A super house cleaning robot. <laughs> well, I'll be dead gum. Hmm. Looks like the rodent remover removed the rodent. But who cleaned up the place? Newton, what are you doing here? Heathcliff? The rodent? What's going on here? What's going on is I'm going to invite this world-famous mouse to be our weekend guest. Oh, no! Relax, Grandpa. I gotta get Newton back to school, or I'll be in big trouble. Come on back soon, Newton, old pal. Thanks, Heathcliff, but it's safer in outer space than it is around here.
She expect me to get that kind of money. Rob a bank? Oh. We're gonna be rich. 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 So much money, it ain't funny. You know what this is? It's a map of the lost city of Catlantis. Yeah, I thought it was a treasure map. Even better, Catlantis is this undersea city with more treasure than you can imagine. More than King Tut, more than Caesar, more than, more than, phew. That much? We're gonna need a submarine. Okay, that'll do. When I get back, you're gonna have so many jewels that when they get dirty, you can throw them away. And if you come back empty-handed, don't even bother to look me up. Have I ever let you down? Don't answer that. Bye, baby. Wish us luck. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Prepare to die. Positions, everyone. Engines all ahead, one third. Aye, aye, Captain. Engine room all ahead, one third. Oh, my word. All ahead, one third. <laughs> Let me see. We turn left at Greenland. Relax, men. We're on our way to Cat Lantern. Yeah, is it bedtime already? Yay! Yay! Uh, I thought it was supposed to be beautiful down here. Maybe it gets better. Are you sure we're in the right ocean? Of course we are. Where do you think the Atlantic got its name? From Catlantis. Is it bedtime now? <laughs> hey, Jack, get back! Where are we? I'm just trying to find my bearings. I don't believe it! A real mermaid! I wish you guys could see her! Yeah, that's the prettiest thing I ever seen. If you could only see her. I think I'm in love. I know I'm in love. Don't tell our hero, but they are prettier than Cleo. She's leaving. It's a good thing we didn't fall for her trap. Sailors say that if you follow a mermaid, you end up in the graveyard for ships. Wait, what are you doing? No, no, don't look! Oh, no! All engines full ahead! Hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! They're getting away! It's a trap! Are you crazy? Those mermaids want us! They want us, all right, for dinner. <laughs> That's silly. Who'd eat cat sticks? We eat fish sticks, don't we? And those dishes is half fishes! Whoa! Give me that! I'm driving. 
moving. We're goners. Prepare to abandon ship. There's a cave over there. It's our only chance. Hold it. We're going to crash! Funny looking cave. It isn't. Those are ribs. Yeah, lunch time. We're inside a whale. My legs are turning to jelly. What are we doing in a whale's belly? An old trick I learned from Pinocchio. <laughs> Catlantis should be around here. Yeah, I think it's that way. There it is! We made it! Hooray! Any suggestions? Our only chance is to shake these sharks. Dive! Dive! <laughs> Cleo sees this. I haven't had company in so long. Who are you? Walter Walrus. My friends used to call me Wally. You still? You know how hard it is to get to Catlantis? Well, it's impossible to get out. I know. I've been trying for years. I'm sorry you have to go back. You're not going to make it, you know. No one ever has. Well, we will. Uh, yeah. When, boss? Just as soon as we get the treasure loaded. We're gonna have to leave some of this stuff behind. Oh, no. Not my favorite tiara. <laughs> I'm going to miss those little fellows. Either the chest goes or you go. Ah, uh, seeing how you put it that way. I'm gonna miss those little fellows. But boy, they sure were the ugliest seals I've ever seen. Riffy, I just love them all. Now, where are you taking me for dinner? Anywhere you want, except no seafood. <laughs> 